Okay, so now we have set up our Raspberry Pi and Navio. We have burned the special Navio MLID image to our SD card, configured the internet, plugged that into our drone, and now we can SSH into our drone. Well, in this video, we're going to do some initial configuration of the ArduPilot program that's running on our Navio Raspberry Pi combo. And to do that, we'll SSH into the drone after figuring out the IP address. And then we'll run through this script of commands right here. We need to do some initial configuration of ArduPilot and um, inform ArduPilot of the port that we're using for our telemetry communication. And then restart a couple things. All the commands are here, and I'll walk you through that in the video now. So let's go ahead and pull up PuTTY or whatever SSH client we're using and SSH into our drone. Remember, the drone has to be powered on to do this. So let's go ahead and SSH into our drone now. Let's pull up PuTTY or whatever SSH client you're using. And then find the IP address like you did previously. Remember the login uh, username is pi, then the password is raspberry. All right, now here we are. You'll see some messages here when the Raspberry Pi first boots up. And this is actually the, the Navio image instructing us on what we have to set up when we first burn our image to this SD card. So first thing we have to do is let's boot up the ArduPilot program with this command here under step one. So we'll just highlight that and right click it and then we'll hit enter. And then if it prompts you with the password, the pseudo password is just raspberry. All right, this is saying our RCIO firmware is outdated. Do you want to update it? Um, let's say yes. Okay. So it's doing some, so right now it's downloading the new firmware and it's gonna update our RCIO. All right, now it's saying we need to reboot our device. So we'll run sudo reboot. And that'll actually close your connection. So we'll have to close this window and we'll open up another putty window and we'll SSH back into our uh, drone. All right, now let's run that same command again, the sudo mlid tool ArduPilot. Here we go. Now it's asking us on the left-hand side to choose our vehicle. So let's say uh, we, had, we can pick copter, plane, rover. Well, our vehicle is a copter, so we'll select that. Choose your version. Uh, this 3.5 is a good ArduPilot version, so let's go ahead and select that. Hit enter. And then choose your frame. Uh, we're using uh, ArduCopter. It's not a helicopter. We're going to use ArduCopter. And do we want ArduPilot to be enabled on boot? Well, we do since, you know, every time we're going to power up the drone, we want the firmware for the drone to be running. So let's enable it on boot. And here it gives us the option to either start or stop ArduPilot. So let's do start. And then last but not least, let's hit the apply button. And then you exit the MLID tool by hitting the Q button. Now we can check the status of the ArduPilot program running in the background by running the following command. We're on sudo system ctl status arducopter. And we can see here that it is active. All right, that's good. That means it's running and our firmware is good to go. Okay, now well, let's go to a step two of this initial Navio prompt, saying set your GCS IP up. Okay, so we can set up some configurations for how we want the ArduPilot program to launch 
in this file. It's under Etsy default Articopter. And we're going to tell Artipilot what device we're using for UART. Now remember, we plugged in our telemetry module into the UART port of the Raspberry or of the Navio Shield. And in Linux, every device or every piece of hardware is represented as a file. So if we go into the dev directory, let's type cd slash dev, and then we'll hit list. Okay, there, these are all different devices. Now the two that we're interested in are serial zero and one. So let's type ls minus l serial and then a star. Okay, so that UART port is either being represented by serial zero or serial one. Now, normally, um, the name the name that is attached to the the port, the UART port, is random and arbitrary. It could be either one of these, but normally it's the TTY AMA zero port. We'll initially configure uh, our telemetry to point at the serial zero character at the serial zero device. So let's now go into the configuration file that is sudo vi, vi is our text editor. We'll go into this file under etsy, defaults, and then arducopter. Then here we are. So here, telem2, we'll uncomment that. Oh, first of all, when you're in the vi, you can scroll around with the arrow keys but then to actually edit the text, you have to hit the I button. And now you can actually type stuff. So let's go to Telem2 and we'll uncomment that. The little hash mark comments out um, what you were looking at. And now if we boot Artipilot, it'll boot and tell the program that our telemetry port is at this character device. So it'll use that UART port to uh, communicate with our telemetry module. So you can see here, the Artipilot options or Artipilot ops are telem one and two. So if we guessed right and that UART port is TTYAMA0, now our telemetry should work. Now let's exit out of this. We'll hit the escape key and then we'll type colon WQ. We'll type WQ because that will save the changes that we made to this file. If we just wanted to exit and not save anything, we would do Q and then exclamation point. But we do want to save, so we'll hit WQ. And now we've made changes to Artipilot. So we need to actually reload or restart the Artipilot program. And there we go. Let's type this command again, sudo systemctl arducopter status arducopter. And all right, this thing is running now. But it was started with. Okay, so after we make changes to that file, we actually need to restart the arducopter uh, program running in the background. So we'll run this command here, sudo system ctl, sudo system ctl restart arducopter. And once we restart it, it will load in our configuration change that we made in that arducopter file here. And now we're telling arducopter that this is the UART port that we want to use for our telemetry. Before we, before we restarted it, um, we can see here that we don't have that uh, option telling Ardu Pilot that our UART port is TTY AMA0. But after we restart, now we have old Ardu Pilot. All right, so in the next video, we're going to install Mission Planner and we're going to try to connect our drone to the, our computer via telemetry. And if we guessed right, and this is actually the correct UART port, then we're good to go. No further configurations will have to happen. But if we're wrong and we can't connect, we should change this file 
or the the Etsy default Articopter file um, from using the TTY AMA0 device to the TTY S0 device. 